Yay! I'm finally ready to start my manga. I have my paper, I have my pen, and all of my ideas and my story are right here in my head. So all I have to do is draw them out and... Wait, but how will I know what happens next? How many pages should I draw for each chapter? What if I forget some of the details and the important things in the plot? What do I do? Does this ever happen to you? Failing to properly plan out your stories, write out your scripts, and plan out the overall event of your story is the number one killer of mangas and comics, y'all. Yeah. Well, the killer of all stories in general. The worst thing you can do for your story, your readers, and for yourself is to not properly plan out the timelines, the events that take place, when characters come in, and all that good stuff is in line and happening at the pace they're supposed to be happening. Like, you want your readers to have the best experience while reading your story, and you do not want to set your story up for failure. So that is why today, my YouTube babies, Mama is going to show you guys how to properly write out a script and plan out every page of your chapters like a professional. This will be episode 2 of my new how to make manga and comic series guys. In part 1 I taught you guys how to express emotions and crazy moods via panels and shading and all that good stuff. But today, we're taking what we've learned in the last video, we're going to apply it to this video and we're going to have us a good time. Today we will be covering how to properly write out a script, what it should look like, how you should lay it out, how many pages should your script be, how many pages of a script equals one chapter of an illustrated manga or comic, how many pages should you draw out for every chapter of your manga or comic, how many chapters equals one volume of a manga or comic, how to introduce characters in your story, how to off the characters if need be. How do you plan out the pacing? How do you figure out what things you want to happen next? And probably most importantly, how many chapters should you write out before you even pick up your pen and start drawing the first page of your manga or comic? We're covering this and so much more, guys. All the information that I am sharing in this video is so freaking crucial, especially if you are planning on ever getting your work published. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it shows your support, it encourages me, but it also ensures that YouTube will recommend this video to more people like you who might really need this information. So without further ado, let's get started. I know there are some of you in the comments or just watching the video right now going, but do I really need a script though? Like. I just like to draw it and let it happen and see where it goes. And you know what? That's absolutely a fun thing to do, especially when you're just getting started, you're just having fun, you're just learning who you are as a storyteller. But if you're at a place where you're thinking of possibly self-publishing or thinking of actually submitting your work to a publisher, boo-boo, my girl, my boys, and everybody in between, you need a script. <laughs> A script will help you take your story from point A to point B to point C all the way to Z, that beautiful ending that we've all been waiting for. The last thing you want to do to yourself is just free write and draw as you go along and then at some point you have that realization that you forgot details. You begin to wish that you planned it out a little bit better. Two more reasons why you want to write out your stories first as a script is because you can send your script out to get copywritten to protect your writing, but number two, it'll make editing your pages and adding the text and dialogue to your pages super easy. All you have to do is copy the dialogue and text from your scripts and paste it onto your speech bubbles. But this is something we'll talk more about in a later video. I know there are a lot of you right now thinking, I freaking hate writing scripts. I don't like writing down my story for nothing. This is, it takes me out the mode. I don't, I don't like doing it. And for you, my dears, I have a few things that you might really, really enjoy. Tip number one, record yourself explaining what happens in every scene. And then he stood on the corner right there behind the building with his gun to his chin 
just in case the killer just like came out of nowhere and started causing some chaos and some trouble. You could use a program that actually listens to you and types out your writing for you. Or you can have a wonderful, wonderful friend or family member who might be kind enough to type out everything you say for you. Causing some chaos and some trouble and then boom! Oh, a humongous that's really explosion. good. And, like, debris oh. was just like everywhere. Yeah. As you write out every scene, Treat every chapter like an episode of an anime or of a TV show. You are in charge of the camera and you are dictating what the viewer and the reader are going to see when they open up your manga and comic. Every panel is like looking at a TV screen. What are we allowed to see? How much of their face are we seeing for drama? Are we seeing them full body? Are we just seeing their faces? You tell us. Is the camera up above? Is it down below? These are all the things you need to keep in mind while you're writing out the scene. It will affect the mood, it will affect the emotions, it will affect what your reader actually feels while they are reading your series. You are the cameraman and you are the director. You are both boo boo, okay? I talk a lot more about this in episode one of my new How to Make Manga and Comic series. I show you all types of techniques for expressing happy moods and not so happy moods. So be sure to check out that video. There's so much detail in it that I really think that you guys will find super useful. The link will be down there in the description box below. If you're anything like me, as you write out your stories, they tend to read more like a short story or a novel and that's completely okay, but that format is super difficult to use when you're actually drawing out your pages. So it's a lot easier to simplify it and break it down into a script. So you have your original writing, copy and paste it or whatever, make a second file. Do not touch the original. You want to keep that intact. You want a copy of that and only edit the copy. And in the copy, you simplify it and make it into a script. The very top would have the name of your story, below that would have the chapter number, and then go right into a script where you have a little description of what you want each panel to look like, what the scene looks like. Is it raining? Is it sunny? Is it a beautiful day? Do you hear the cicadas? Do you hear the crickets? Write all this out. You can also write in the description what the camera angle looks like, what the shading is, so on and so forth. You may also want to write what the characters are doing, who is in the room or in the scene with your characters, and then go into who is saying what. And I know a lot of you are struggling with writer's block, you're not too sure how to come up with new ideas for your story or how to develop your characters. I actually have videos on talking about the causes and cures for writer's block. I have a video on how to figure out why your story isn't working out and how to fix that, as well as a video on how to develop your characters. There's a lot of useful information in those three videos, guys. Again, the link to those videos will be down there in the description box below. Once you've written out your scripts, time to print it out and the fun begins. One of the things that I like to do on my scripts is make little notes on the side of what I want the panels to look like. It's so important to keep in mind what you want the panels to look like as you're writing them out. This is going to be super, super handy when you begin drawing out your pages, but for now, it's all about planning. The more planning you do, the more proud you will be of the final product, guys. You guys ask me things like, how many pages should a script be? How many scripts do I need per volume? How many chapters should I draw out? per volume of my manga or comic. Each chapter of your manga or comic is going to be different. Some are going to be really, really word heavy. Others are going to be really action packed and there won't be as much talking. So your scripts are going to be different lengths. Some will be 10 pages long, some will be 50 pages long. It's happened to me. And it all comes down to what actually happens in the chapter that I'm writing. So every script that I write belongs to one chapter. So if a chapter is a lot of talking, I'll have a much, much longer script because there is a lot more dialogue in the chapter. However, the chapters where there's a lot more fighting, 
There might be a slightly smaller script because I'm mostly just talking about and mostly writing out what's happening, the action, you know what I mean? And not as much dialogue. But how do you know when to end the script? How do you know when to end the chapter? I've spoken about this before in a video or two, but I want to say it here as well just in case you haven't seen those videos. Treat every chapter like an episode of an anime or of a TV show. Think about how they end the episode. They always leave you with a question or they leave you wanting to know what happens next or they leave you going, oh my god, they're gonna end up together. Or it leaves you going, oh my god, oh my god, is he gonna die? Oh my gosh, how is this battle gonna end? Oh my god. So you, as the writer, have to decide how you want your reader to feel at the end of every chapter. You have to think to yourself, did I give them the information that I wanted them to have? If so, is this where I end the chapter? Treat it like an episode. Try to envision what it would be like to see on TV. And that will kind of give you a good idea of how you would like the chapter to end. I like to say that chapters tend to end in four different ways. They end with a, oh! They could end with a, oh no! They could end with a, what? Oh hell no. Or they can end with a, oh! It's completely up to you. Those are just four ways to end a chapter, but I think those four, <laughs> leaving your reader with one of those four feelings kind of ensures they're going to want to come back to find out what on earth happens next. <laughs> Another question you guys ask me a lot on YouTube and Instagram and all that good stuff is, how do you know you're ready to start drawing out your manga and your comics? Girl, this is something I spoke about in my original video that I did years ago on how to write scripts is, I highly, highly recommend that before you even start drawing a single page of your manga or comic, that you write out 10 chapters. What? <laughs> I know, I know, it seems like a lot. But hear me out, guys. Imagine, imagine drawing out four whole chapters of your manga or comic and realizing you've grown as a writer and you came up with new details, new juicy details, oh girl, for your story. And now, you've already drawn out four whole chapters. You gotta start all over again or, or you just have to stick with what you've done. The best way to prevent this from ever happening is write out 10 chapters. In the time that it takes for you to have written out 10 chapters, I'm telling you what you're gonna learn about your characters, what you're gonna develop in their world, how much the story is gonna grow and change. You're going to mature as a writer and as a storyteller after writing 10 chapters. And after you've written out 10 chapters, that equates to around two volumes of a manga or comic. If you can look at those 10 chapters and be like, that's it, I love the details, love where it's going, I'm gonna dedicate myself to this, no more changes are needed, that's when you know you're ready. The next step would be to take your script and begin planning out your pages. And that's what my next video from this series will be on, my dear. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will not miss that video. I am telling you, we're going to have so much fun talking about page layouts, the different types of panels you can use, two-page spreads, how to show lots of impact, lots of action, lots of emotion through the shape of your panels and how much space they take up on a single page. Oh my god, we have so much to talk about, guys. So much to talk about. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share it with your other artist friends and be sure to give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Oh, guys, had a lot of fun with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday, guys. Yes, boo boo. Oh my gosh. So until next time, please take care. God bless. And do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care, guys.